Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for K-Check! Hello everyone, I am Junel Labor. Ako po si Aimee Su Martinez and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on the Philippine television. We search all over the country for people na hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang mga kaalaman. Titignan natin kung paano katindi ang brain power nila. And in the final week of the competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling kauna-unahang K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Let's meet our contestants. Mark Archie David is an economic student at the Polytechnic University of the Philippines. Janina May Mendoza is a student of the Theater Arts Program of UP Diliman, who is also Batangueña, pero ayaw niya ng coffee. Aleli Bobis, an incoming fourth year theater arts directing and dramaturgy major from UP Diliman, who is also known as Little Miss Raquetera. And Jaren Skuwaki is a BS Information Technology senior, also from PUP, na laging sumasali sa mga quiz shows. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Anvil Piatko, Chairperson of the Department of Speech Communication and Theater Arts, UP Diliman. Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics, UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the Department of History, UP Diliman. Janelle? And now contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can in two minutes and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin. Mark, what small pear-shaped organ of the human body stores bile? Pancreas. Pancreas? Male, gallbladder. Janina, what is the sum of 45 and 65? 130. 130. Male, 110. Aleli, which playwright wrote The Tragedy of Macbeth in 1623? William Shakespeare. Kate, William Shakespeare. Jerens, what is the eighth planet from the sun? Uh, Uranus. Male, Neptune. Mark, what is half the square root of 36? 188. Male, 3. Janina, Ho Chi Minh was a great leader of which country? Vietnam. Keychain, what is the average of 76 and 96, Aleli? Eighty-six. Jerens, until 1976, what country did Mao Zedong rule? Uh, U.S. Malek, China. Mark, who became president of the Philippines in 1992? Fidel Ramos. K-Check. Janina, what element has the chemical symbol H and G? Mercury. K-Check. Aleli, what is the color of the er erythrocytes in human blood? White. Male, red. And Jaren, so what is 9 divided by 1 third? Tripa. Male, 27. And that's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramihan round. Sa tingin mo, Professor Anvil, based on the first round, may tatanghali na bang champion ang ating K-Check Challenge? Naku, nakakaloka, I mean. First round pa lang yun, di ba? Um, sa tingin ko, uh, kung ako ang nandoon, yung pressure tsaka yung bilis ng pagsagot, parang nakakatakot talaga siya. So, it's anybody's game, I think. Di ba? It's anybody's game. Thank you, Professor Anriel. At the end of K-Check Paramihan, let us now look at the points garnered by our contestants. At the lead, Janina, for 20 points. And she's followed by Mark and Aleli at 10 points. Jerens is at the tail end. Jerens, you have to work harder. Kayo, ilang tanong ang nasagot nyo? Anim. Ah, talaga? Hmm. Dami. At ready na ba kayong lahat for our pabilisan round? Next, dito sa K-Check!
Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Para sa recap, Janina has 20 points, both Mark and Aleli have 10 points, at si Jerens ay hahabol sa next round. Thank you, contestants. Now it's time to go into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Contestants, kailangan yung mag-strategize. Let's begin! Which province in Region 2 is named after a Philippine president? Aleli! Malolos, Bulacan. Ale. Mark. Quezon. Male. Gerens. Grino. Gaycheck. In mythology, which offspring of Pasiphae had the body of a man and the head of a bull? Mark. Minotaur. Gaycheck. Which 830-meter-high skyscraper in Dubai became the world's tallest? Gerens. Burj Khalifa. Okay, check. Josefa Gabriela Cariño is the wife of which Ilocano hero? Mark. Diego Silang. Okay, check. Now, I will need three names, now known as the Duchess of Cornwall. Who is second wife of Charles, Prince of Wales? The answer is Camilla Parker Bowles. And our next question, what is the name of the pint-sized workers employed by Willy Wonka in the 2005 film Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Mark? Umpalumpas. Okay, check. Which Filipino won a bronze medal at the 2022 World Athletics Championships? <laughs> Gerens. E.J. Obiena. Okay, check. What Spanish title of Juan Gabriel's song translates as self-esteem or self-love? Nobody got the correct answer. It's Amor Propio. And our next question, just the surname will do. Milos Forman's 1984 film Amadeus is named after what composer? <coughs> Janina Mozart K. Check. In the news, in what province can you find Virgin Island where a meal for 12 people may cost more than <coughs> Aleli Pohol K. Check. Which of Pablo Picasso's paintings is black, gray, and white? and is named after a vast town in Spain that was bombed by Germany and Italy. Sagot ay Gornica. Named after a mythological monster that Hercules fought, which invert invertebrate animal doesn't show any signs of deterioration with age and may virtually be immortal? Mark? Jellyfish. Monday. The answer is Hydra. Junelle? Wow, that was a whirlwind. Professor Marion, your thoughts? Nakakalorke. Ang gagaling at ang tutoroy. Parang humataw ang mga boys ngayon. Mahabol sila. So, hindi lang ito pabilisan, eh, di ba? Kailangan strategy ka ng konti kasi may minus-minus na. Pero ang galeng, bili ba ko? Hindi ko feel to, eh. So, kudos. Okay, check dyan. Tingnan natin kung nag-pay off ang strategy ng ating mga contestants. In the lead is Gerens with 60 points, followed by Mark with 50 points, Janina with 40 points, and Aleli with 20 points. Grabe, ang init na ng competition. Diba? But we still don't know how the story will end until we get to our ultimate pagalingan. Up next on K-Check! Welcome back with 
Jaren's on top, will he pull away or can any of the remaining contestants grab the lead? We'll find out in our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para madagdagan ang pressure sa ating mga contestants in this round, sa mga professors sa ating panel of experts manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman na natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winner. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! For our first question, Prof. Unreal. Okay, here's a question. Mars Ravelos Darna is the most celebrated female superhero character in the Philippines, who is attributed as the first LGBTQ plus superhero introduced by Carlo Vergara in early 2000. Mark. Jaja Saturna. Naging musical ito at pinagbidahan ni Yula Valdez. Naging pelikula rin ito na pinagbidahan ni Jasha sa Padilla. Kay Check, Shasha Zaturna. For our second question, Prof. Marian. Ready? What animal is considered to be the deadliest in the world with approximately 750,000 deaths per year? Janina? Mosquitoes. Akala ng marami ay snake or lion. But mosquitoes is the correct answer. Okay, check. Prof. Neil. Here's the next question. What is the collective term for Mindanao's non-Muslim indigenous peoples? Gerens? Lumads. Lumad, uh, isang katagang Cebuano na nangangulugang katutubo. Bahagi ng mga grupong lumad ay ang mga Manobo, Subanid, Tiboli, at Bagobo. Okay, check. Good, Prof. Unreal. Next question, please. So this Philippine senator is known for her sarcasm and memorable lines in Ilonggo accent. Gerens? Miriam Defensor Santiago. Hmm. Humabol din ito ng presidente ilang beses na at naging running mate niya ang kasalukuyang Pangulo ng Pilipinas noong 2016 national elections. Okay, check! Miriam Defensor Santiago. Prof. Marian. Okay, medyo madali. An object having a mass of 1 kilogram on Earth will have how many kilogram of mass on the Moon? Wala po tong compute, compute. Mass remains constant whether you are on the Earth or on the Moon. Weight ang nag-iiba. Prof. Neil. Yan. Ang um, susuro na tanong ay, what was the resettlement policy implemented by the Spaniards? So, um, ito ang patakaran ng mga Espanyol na nagbigay daan sa plaza complex sa iba't ibang munisipyo at syudad sa bansa. Ang tamang sagot ay reduction. Prof. Unreal, next question please. Okay, next question. The film Kisap Mata, directed by Mike De Leon, was inspired by a news article published in the Philippine Free Press, penned by national artist Nick Joaquin. Which news article is this? Walang nakasagot. Ito ay tungkol sa isang pulis na super strict at ginawa ang lahat para hindi matuloy ang pagsisiping ng kanyang anak at ang asawa nito. Ito ay ang The House on Zapote Street. Prof. Maria, next question please. Mathematics. Okay, what is the probability that a non-leap year selected at random will contain 53 Sundays? Medyo trick question lang to. So Sunday, Monday, whatever day, pare-pareho lang sagot. 1 over 7. Hmm. Prof. Neil, next question please. So, Mula sa political science, 
This refers to the power of the electorate with the purpose of approving or rejecting a law that is being passed in Congress. Gerens? Dito. Mali. Nakasaad sa konstitusyon, isa sa mga karapatan at kakayahan na binibigay sa taong bayan ang referendum. So, referendum ang tamang sagot. Prof. Andrew, next question please. <clears throat> okay. Um, current affairs? Since 1924, the Philippine Olympic team has brought home a total of 14 medals, including one gold. Who brought home the first and so far the only gold of the Philippines? Jaren! Heidelin Diaz. Siya ay nasa weightlifting, 55 kilogram women, 2020 Summer Olympics na ginanap sa Tokyo, Japan noong 26 July 2021. K-check! Heidelin Diaz. Prof. Marian. Having the ability to cause rusting on iron plates, Dihydrogen monoxide can also cause an explosion when mixed with sodium. What is the common name for dihydrogen monoxide? Mark? Dry ice. Male. It's dihydrogen, dalawang hydrogen, and monoxide, isang oxygen, H2O, water. Professor Neil, next question, please. So, last question for this round. What is Islamic pillar of faith that promotes the giving of alms to the poor? So, walang nakakuha ng tamang sa tamang sagot. Ang sakat ay isa sa limang pillars of faith ng Islam na basically ang tawag natin sa Filipino nagbibigay ng limos. Okay. Maraming salamat po. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Gerens, our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 135 points. He brings home a power bank from TVUP and we'll see him again on Friday when he competes with our daily winners for a spot in our semi-finals. Thank you to Mark, Janina, and Aleli for joining. And to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Neil, Professor Andrew, and, and Professor Marian. And this is Aimee Sue Martinez. And I am Janelle Labor. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -Check.